this question, so, you know, I can do it. Um, let me do it this way. So let me answer it because this is one of those questions. The answer is actually pretty easy. It's not a hard question. Um, there was a, something that I wanted to point out, uh, which is more of my personal interest than actually just answering the question. So, uh, so let me first just to answer the question uh, that I can do in like five minutes. And then I will show you the question coding to uh, point out <laughs> some consideration that goes into this. So it says on Earth satellite, it has apogee, that's this point A, at um, 1600 kilometer above surface of Earth. Um, so I think the way it's uh, um, giving these numbers, you know, above the surface of Earth, this is really, if you are measuring it from center of the Earth, this is supposed to be the distance above the surface of the Earth plus the radius of Earth. So that is my RA. Uh, and Perry is at 600 kilometer above. So this would be now uh, 600 plus 6,370 kilometers. Um, at Apogee, it's, uh, so this speed is uh, 6.83 kilometers per second. What is its speed at Perigee? Okay. Um, and as you are reading the question, um, so I hope you are thinking of applying con uh, conservation law. Um, and as you are, because, you know, as I was saying, you know, conservation laws are, uh, when they work, they are the simplest to use. And they, when they don't work, they are also simplest to uh, rule out their usage. So it's uh, one of the first things you should try because either it will work or you will find out quickly that it won't work. As you apply conservation law, you have conservation of energy, momentum, and angular momentum. Um, and you can technically use conservation of energy. Just a little bit more complicated, so I'll skip that for now. Conservation of momentum is a little bit hard. Uh, you can clearly see that momentum is changing between A and P. And I guess uh, if you include the momentum of Earth, maybe it'll work. But so e even though momentum is conserved in this setup, it's uh, difficult to use it in a way that will help you answer this. Uh, that leaves you with the third, uh, the angular momentum. Is it conserved? And the answer is yes, it's conserved. Because um, so as this satellite is orbiting, it's only under the force of gravity. And while gravity is an external force to the satellite, the it, uh, gravity force, it, it only acts in a line that connects um, it only acts in a line that connects between the satellite and the Earth. It's what's called a central force. And uh, with a force like this, angular moment, the torque due to that is always zero because the lever arm is zero. So uh, this is so as the satellite orbits, the torque due to gravity is always zero. So 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 angular momentum will be conserved. So that's what we are going to use. Um, so we can use the expression for angular momentum. That's the lever arm times momentum or lever arm times mv. And we are going to say angular momentum at point A is equal to angular momentum at point B. This is the statement of conservation of angular momentum. So um, at point A, we have the this, the apogee distance, RA. And with the apogee and perigee, this distance works out to be the perpendicular distance. All the other points along the orbit, they get a little complicated, which is why we don't ask. <laughs> apogee and perigee, perpendicular, I can just use that as my lever arm, times m times velocity at or speed at apogee is equal to the perigee distance, RP, times m times the speed at perigee. Oh, Masses cancel out, which is great because the the question didn't give us that. Um, so I can just uh, solve for oops, it's meant to be uh, p. I can just solve for the speed at perigee. Um, so the expression for speed at perigee is equal to um, the ratio of the two distances r a over r p times the speed at apogee. Um, and so here, because of these ratios and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to just rely on the units to cancel out and 
the final answer I want is in kilometers per second. So I'll just plug this directly in. The unit will just work out. So I have the RA, that's uh, 1600 plus 6370, divided by carriage distance, 600 plus 6370, um, times the speed at apogee, 6.83. So it's you know pretty simple answer seven point eight one, and um, because the angular momentum is the simplest way to do this question, um, sometimes question writers forget that um, the the other two conservation laws actually still apply. In particular, conservation of energy still applies. Then uh, you know you might think, but uh, we already had all the um, knowns and unknowns to solve this just using conservation momentum. So if we have additional equations that apply, does that mean this is an overdefined system? And and yeah, the answer is yes. Um, when you have a system like this, um, you are not free to simply randomly choose these distances RA and RP. You can't. If you simply randomly choose these distances, um, you might accidentally come up with a system that's physically impossible. So for this question, um, you, can act, you can actually um, use conservation of energy. And the question has been painstakingly <laughs> programmed to exactly allow you to do that. Uh, because it, uh, um, it, it, system doesn't randomly generate those distances. I mean, a portion of it gets randomly generate it, you know, it randomly generates um, ah, okay. So it randomly generates the distances. What it doesn't randomly do is one of the knowns that you had in the question, the speed on, at the perigee, um, there's an actual solution. Once you specify both the perigee and apogee, okay, those numbers you can randomly choose. But after you've done that, the speed at either of those two points is already completely determined. You can't simply randomly pick. Um, so the question code does that. So if you try to solve this, um, if, if you try to solve this question uh, in just using conservation of energy, uh, you can. Um, and uh, because we have been very careful in coding this question carefully, um, the solution you get through conservation of energy will actually match this answer. And it will also be correct. But you know, we recommend that you use conservation of angular momentum because it's all, uh, conservation of angular momentum because it's a lot easier. <laughs> and that, that's the intended solution method for this question.